Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As always, it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So let's get into it. We're going to be looking at your connection, how they are thinking or feeling about you, what are their true intentions, and what is next for your connection. So let's see, Spirit, any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Regarding love. For Scorpio. Honeymoon and deception. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This honeymoon card could be a card about traveling to see each other or leaving some sort of situation. So we'll see what this is about. Bottom of the deck. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. What do we need to know about this for Scorpio? What do we need to know? Someone could be um, just not telling you the whole story or deceiving you in some way. This could be someone that appears to be one thing and is another as well. We'll see what that is about. What does Scorpio need to know and love? Four of Cups reverse. Someone's had a change of heart or a renewed interest in something. There's something that's not successful, not working out in this connection. Maybe someone's not being recognized for their worth or effort. Emperor's reverse. Someone's not happy with the way things have turned out in this connection. Almost to the point that they're thinking, was this even a good idea? Nothing is growing or progressing. There's no success here. What's going on? Wow, Eight of Cups reverse. Someone could be wanting to leave a situation but is prevented from doing so with the Eight of Cups reverse. We'll see. Let me clarify. These energies for Scorpio. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? What happened here with the Four of Cups reverse? Nine of Cups reverse, definitely. Someone didn't get their wish granted or this wasn't emotionally fulfilling. And this could be you, Scorpio, or your person, because this is your connection. Um, so either of you could be here. But someone is very disappointed. Almost like closing themselves off as well. Yeah, Knight of Swords reverses. There's that deception card. Maybe someone deceived you, and you know, maybe you found out that they were not being completely honest with you about something. Yeah, and I feel like this has been very disappointing, heartbreaking. This could have something to do with family problems. But with the Ten of Cups reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse, it's like things have been... It wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Maybe you thought that at one point that this connection was going to be very successful, that it was going to be everything you thought it was, you know, you hoped for. But I don't think that that's really been the case here. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? There's way too many. So five of them. Why is the six of wands reverse? For Scorpio. Yeah, there's that six of swords. Someone's leaving the situation or wanting to leave a situation because it hasn't been successful. It hasn't worked out. Tell me about the six of wands reverse, please. For Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. Maybe someone wants an opportunity somewhere else or wants to make an offer elsewhere. Maybe someone is wanting to make an offer to whoever wants to leave a situation so that they don't leave. 
Wow, Seven of Swords reverse. Someone's going to be found out here. There's something coming out or someone's getting caught. There's that deception again. Something's being seen clearly. Something's being seen clearly. And possibly this has to do with money or a commitment or the head of a family or something to do with like a, uh, a partnership. Because the King of Pentacles... Typically, they're already in a connection, in a long-term commitment. But I'm getting the sense that this is like, it's almost like this King of Pentacles figures this out. And this could be you, Scorpio. Why is the Empress reverse? Well, again, I don't know what's going on with my deck. Why is the Empress reverse? The Empress reverse. Page of Pentacles. No, Nine of Pentacles reverse. The Tower reverse. This Empress. This Empress doesn't want. Uh, wants to avoid this Tower. They do not want to be free of this. It's like this is someone preventing another person from leaving or causing a tower but i feel like it's not going to work i feel like all of the challenges or op or um opposition that this emperor's reverse tries to come up with it's not going to face this other person i feel like this emperor's reverse i mean it could be you but i'm getting the sense that this is someone outside of the two of you for some reason yeah, and just as I say that, Three of Cups reverse. I feel like this is a connection that is uh, a third party connection, possibly. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? This could also be that someone's just unhappy with the way things have gone down. And maybe they're, now that they want to leave the situation, they're getting some sort of opposition. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. And they're preventing someone from leaving. And it's almost like they're probably preventing, trying to prevent you from leaving, Scorpio. But someone's breaking free. Eight of Swords reverse. I really feel like this isn't going to work. I feel like someone has chosen a cup here. You know, where there was confusion before or doubt before, there is no doubt or confusion. Yeah, someone's heart, <clears throat> someone's heartbroken. <clears throat> someone's heartbroken. Four of Swords reverse, someone's taking some sort of action. And the moon, Pisces energy. It's almost like someone's taking action in secret. Yeah, someone's taking action. And I feel like it's in secret. Almost like they want to leave in secret. Or leave without telling the other person exactly why. Let's see. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about you, Scorpio? You see my new um, Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is now available in my shop. Link down below. It's on Etsy. It's a physical deck. What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio Spirit? What are their thoughts or feelings about Scorpio at this time? My heart belongs to you. What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Somebody loves you. <laughs> and as they say that, there's I love you. <laughs> and I'm ready to open up at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person hasn't told you how they feel, Scorpio, or have kept to themselves. Um, 
that their heart belongs to you. So let's see. What do we need to know about what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you? What do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Are secretly thinking or feeling? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Something, there's obstacles here. This person feels there's obstacles here. Yeah, there's something, there's something hidden. This person, I feel like they secretly admire you from afar or they watch your social media. This could be vice versa as well. But I feel like there's, it's almost like there's, they're watching you and maybe you're watching them, but you're not talking. And it's almost like at the, in the very back of this person's mind, there's an offer that they know in order for this offer to get to them, there will be a lot of obstacles in your way, Scorpio. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Could be dealing with a Pisces, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an er air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energies. Um, more time is needed or... There's more work that needs to take place here in order for something to come together. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like there would need to be a lot of clarity here. Yeah, this person's been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you, Scorpio. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Not reverse. Why is the moon here? Sorry. Why is the moon here? Queen of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles. This person cannot work on this. They cannot give anything to this connection. Um, or perhaps they know that you cannot give anything to this connection. So they stay quiet. Wow. The Fool. This will be a risk for them. Yeah, talking, communicating with you, Scorpio, is a risk. That's why they just watch you silently from afar. Tell me about the Page of Swords. And it could be that they're ready to open up because, you know, all this time they've just been watching you silently. Wow. Queen of Cups reversed. They're attached to you emotionally. I'm not sure what happened in the past. But they want to talk. It's like they want to talk about the fact that they haven't, yeah, that there hasn't been any closure. And that they haven't been able to let this go. I feel this Queen of Wands is some sort of interference here. Yeah, Two of Cups. There's a strong connection here that they feel with you. Um, but there's fear because I feel this Queen of Wands reverse. Either they're scared of how you would react if they approached you or they're scared of a third person or there's some sort of interference here. But there's unfinished business between you and this person. What are their true intentions towards Scorpio spirit? What are their true intentions towards Scorpio? What are their true intentions towards Scorpio? Hawk, interesting. What are their true intentions? Oh, Scorpion, huh. Scorpion for Scorpio. <laughs> Oyster, they're clammed up, see? They haven't said something, you know, I'm going to read the, or look at the hawk real quick. Because the hawk and the eagle always trip me up because they're right 
very similar to each other. So the hawk is watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch your every move. This person is watching you. They keep tabs on you, Scorpio, for sure. Fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. Definitely. Scorpion, passionate, competitive, tends toward isolation. Passionate and determined. They focus on an unresolved event from the past. Usually where they were left feeling burned. The Scorpion card says, time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual self. Exactly. Someone here, whoever this is, has not been able to let the past go. And I feel like you haven't either, Scorpio. And I think maybe you haven't thought about them because, you know, you've been busy with other stuff. But now that there's a situation where you're considering leaving, a, you know, and it could be that you left this connection in the past as well. And this person hasn't been able to get over that. So take it as it resonates. If this is resonating, let me know how it's resonating for you. And let's get into the potential outcome here so i'm going to pull a couple cards for this video to see what's next for this connection what's next for this connection spirit what's next for this connection between scorpio and this other person ace of swords reverse there's that deception card and it's interesting because i feel like this deception there's so many things that go into that. I mean, there's some deception that I feel is very um, sinister in nature or very like from a negative place. And then there's deception where, for example, if you are trying to steal off in the middle of the night or something like that, or, or you don't want to tell someone your next plan, so you try not to give too many details. I'm feeling this that's this type of deception the type of deception where someone needs to open up how they feel about you or vice versa the type of deception where there's self-preservation of some some kind that's what I'm picking up here what's next for this connection for Scorpio please what's next for this connection Yeah, there's fear, anxiety. I feel like this goes for both of you. Like you're both, I feel, possibly even dreaming of each other or perhaps Scorpio, you're very distracted by your current situation. And I feel like this person, I feel like they're outside of your current situation for some reason. What's next? Nine of Cups reversed. The Tower reversed. Wow. So someone... Interesting. I feel like someone's trying to reverse a tower. Hmm. There's that Nine of Cups reversed and Ten of Cups reversed. So I feel like this has been something where there hasn't been a wish fulfilled there hasn't been satisfaction it hasn't been a happy ending like you thought and i feel like someone's doing a lot of healing here a lot of thinking but no action and no communication yeah someone's holding back and i feel like this might be both of you are holding back and I feel like the fact that you're holding back for some reason, you know, it's almost like this is a necessary tower. You know, like someone needs to open up, reveal feelings in order to heal something. And I feel like both of you are holding back because of fear. You know, this person's watching your every move. They love you. They care about you. And they, they want to express themselves to you. But I feel like there's something here that's holding them back. And then in the midst of all of this as well, is someone that needs to leave a situation or actually take some sort of action where they meet up with another person or where they visit another person that could definitely be something that is 
underway. You know, you either are leaving a situation, Scorpio, or you are leaving to meet with someone. I feel like that's definitely something that needs to take place here. But more than anything, I feel like communication is the biggest problem. And I want to see, you know, exactly what's going to happen next. You know, I feel like someone here, something has to give. And I want to know, like, who's going to break silence first? You know? What's this fear all about? Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio, and I will see you all in another video. Take care.